Africa is said to be the birthplace of humans, and South Africa is its beating heart. The place is home to the largest deposits of fossils belonging to our ancestors, some of which are considered to be millions of years old. There has been subtle evidence of lost civilizations, ancient technology, and even ritual sacrifices. More recently, some of the bloodiest battles have been fought on the plains of South Africa, and the reminders of these conflicts can still be seen today. Tune in to find out more about the 20 terrifying discoveries in South Africa that have shocked the world. Number 20. The Cradle of Humankind Located about 50 kilometers northwest of Johannesburg is a UNESCO World Heritage Site that spans over 47,000 hectares. This area is renowned for its limestone caves where some of the world's most significant hominid fossils have been discovered. These fossils include the famous Australopithecus africanus specimen, Mrs. Pless, and Little Foot, an almost complete Australopithecus skeleton dating back over 3 million years. The Cradle of Humankind provides crucial evidence of human evolution, with fossils dating back more than 3.5 million years. Excavations have unearthed a variety of prehistoric remains, from early hominids to the stone tools they used. This site has helped scientists piece together the evolutionary history of humankind, shedding light on how early humans lived, adapted, and evolved over millions of years. In addition to its archaeological significance, the Cradle of Humankind is also a rich source of information about the ancient environment of the region. The fossils and sediments found here have provided insights into the climate and ecological conditions that early hominids faced, helping researchers understand the challenges and changes that influenced human evolution. Number 19. The Swaying Meteorite Crater The Swaying Meteorite Crater is located about 40 kilometers north of Pretoria and is one of the most well-preserved impact craters in the world. Formed approximately 220,000 years ago by a meteorite impact, the crater is about 1.13 kilometers in diameter and 100 meters deep. The meteorite responsible for the crater is estimated to have weighed between 30,000 and 50,000 tons and was traveling at a speed of about 16 kilometers per second upon impact. The impact would have released a tremendous amount of energy, equivalent to several atomic bombs, resulting in the vaporization of the meteorite and the creation of the crater. The surrounding area would have experienced devastating effects, including intense heat and shockwaves, which would have significantly altered the local environment. Apart from its geological significance, the Swain Crater has also provided evidence of human activity dating back thousands of years. Archaeological excavations have revealed stone tools and other artifacts, indicating that early humans utilized the crater area for various purposes. The site has likely served as a source of fresh water, given the crater's natural catchment of rainwater, making it an ideal location for human settlement. Number 18. The Legend of the Grootslang The Richtersveld region is a remote and arid area in the northwestern part of South Africa. It is also home to one of the country's most interesting legends, the Grootslang. According to local folklore, the Grootslang is a colossal serpent-like creature with the features of an elephant and a snake. This mythical beast is said to live in a deep cave known as the Wonder Hole, or Bottomless Pit, which is rumored to connect to the ocean, allowing the creature to travel great distances. The legend of the Grootslang dates back to ancient times and has been passed down through generations of indigenous tribes. It is said that the Grootslang was one of the first creatures created by the gods, who then realized their mistake in making it too powerful, so they split it into two separate creatures, elephants and snakes. However, some of the original Grootslangs were said to have escaped, continuing to roam the earth and terrorize those who ventured too close to their lairs. While there is no scientific evidence to support the existence of the Grootslang, the legend continues to fascinate the locals and visitors alike. Tales of encounters with the creature, often involving lost explorers and hidden treasures, this only adds an element of mystery and adventure to the Richtersveld region. Number 17. The Great Zimbabwe Ruins The Great Zimbabwe Ruins have had a meaningful impact on the cultural and historical landscape of southern Africa. These ancient stone ruins were constructed by the Shona people between the 11th and 15th centuries, and they are proof of the architectural and engineering skills of early African civilizations. The complex consists of massive stone walls, towers and enclosures which shows the sophistication and ingenuity of its builders. 
The influence of the great Zimbabwe civilization extended beyond its borders. They likely affected trade, culture, and politics in the region. The stone construction techniques and architectural styles found in Great Zimbabwe are similar to structures in other parts of Southern Africa, including modern-day South Africa. The discovery and study of the Great Zimbabwe ruins have also challenged colonial-era misconceptions about African history and civilization. Early European explorers and colonizers often thought that the ruins were built by non-African builders. They refused to believe that indigenous Africans could have constructed such impressive structures. However, modern archaeological research has established that the Shona people constructed and maintained this remarkable site. Number 16, the Mapungubwe Gold Artifacts. Mapungubwe is located where the Limpopo and Shashi rivers meet near the borders of South Africa, Zimbabwe, and Botswana. It was once the center of a thriving Iron Age civilization. This ancient kingdom flourished between the 11th and 14th centuries and is renowned for its advanced social and economic structures. Among the most famous discoveries from Mapungubwe are the unreal gold artifacts, which also include the iconic golden rhinoceros. The golden rhinoceros, along with other gold objects such as scepters and beads, was discovered in the royal graves on Mapungubwe Hill. These artifacts showcase a high level of craftsmanship and the sophisticated metallurgical skills of the Mapungubwe people. The presence of such valuable items also indicates that Mapungubwe was a significant trade center. It is likely that they had extensive trade networks that connected the interior of Southern Africa with the Indian Ocean trade routes. These artifacts of gold indicate the wealth and power of the kingdom. The ruling elite was ritually buried with riches, which means that they had a highly complicated social hierarchy. Number 15. The Adam's Calendar Adam's Calendar is often referred to as Africa's Stonehenge. It is an ancient stone structure located in Mpumalanga, South Africa, and is believed to be one of the oldest man-made structures in the world. Researchers estimate that the Adam's Calendar is over 75,000 years old. The site consists of a circular arrangement of large standing stones, some of which are aligned with celestial bodies. This has led researchers to believe it may have been used as an astronomical calendar. The exact origins and purpose of the Adam's calendar remain subjects of debate among scholars. Some researchers propose that it was an ancient observatory used by early humans to track celestial events and seasons. This would have been important for agricultural and ceremonial purposes. Others suggest that the site may have had a more symbolic or ritualistic significance, possibly serving as a place of worship or for social gatherings. Despite the uncertainty surrounding its origins, the Adams calendar continues to interest archaeologists, historians, and enthusiasts. The site offers a glimpse into the capabilities of early humans. Number 14. The Fossils of Karoo The Karoo region is a semi-desert area covering much of central South Africa. It is renowned for its rich fossil deposits that provide a window into the prehistoric past. The Karoo Supergroup is a vast geological formation spanning over 600 million years, and it has yielded a treasure trove of fossils, including those of prehistoric reptiles, amphibians, and early mammal-like reptiles known as therapsids. The fossils found in the Karoo are important for understanding the evolutionary transitions that occurred during the Paleozoic and Mesozoic eras. Among the most significant discoveries are the therapsids, which are considered to be the ancestors of modern mammals. These fossils have given the researchers insights into the development of key mammalian features, such as different teeth and more complex jaw structures. This was critical for the evolutionary success of mammals. In addition to therapsids, the Karoo has also produced fossils of various dinosaur species, including early sauropods and theropods. These discoveries have helped paleontologists reconstruct the ancient ecosystems that once thrived in this region. The diversity of life that existed millions of years ago was simply astonishing. Number 13. The Sani Pass The Sani Pass is a mountain pass that connects South Africa's KwaZulu-Natal province with the Kingdom of Lesotho. It is situated at an altitude of 2,876 meters, and the pass winds its way through the Drakensberg Mountains. The views are simply breathtaking for anyone who goes through it. The Sani Pass is not only a marvel of natural beauty, but also a site of historical and cultural significance. Historically, the Sani Pass was used by the Basotho people for trade and travel. It provided a vital link between the highlands of Lesotho and the lowlands of South Africa. 
The pass was also an important route for herders moving their livestock between seasonal grazing areas. The challenging terrain and harsh weather conditions of the pass have made it a symbol of human endurance and resilience. It reflected the determination and resourcefulness of those who navigated its treacherous slopes. Today, the Sani Pass is a popular destination for adventure travelers and off-road enthusiasts. The journey up the pass requires a 4x4 vehicle and some skillful driving as the road is steep, rocky, and often affected by weather conditions. Sani Mountain Lodge is at the summit of the pass, and it has the highest pub in Africa. The lodge offers visitors a chance to relax and take in the stunning panoramic views of the surrounding mountains and valleys, making the challenging climb well worth the effort. Number 12. The Battlefields of KwaZulu-Natal KwaZulu-Natal is a province in eastern South Africa, and it is home to countless historic battlefields that played a vital role in the history of the region. These battlefields are the sites of key conflicts during the Anglo-Zulu War, the Anglo-Boer War, and the Zulu Civil War. Among the most famous battlefields are Isandlwana, where fierce battles between the Zulu warriors and British forces took place in 1879. The Battle of Isandlwana was fought on January 22, 1879. The result was a decisive victory for the Zulu kingdom against the British army. Despite being outnumbered and facing superior weaponry, the Zulu warriors utilized their strategic cunning and intimate knowledge of the terrain to achieve a stunning victory. This battle remains one of the few instances in history where a native force defeated a colonial army in open combat, and it is a testament to the bravery and tactical skills of the Zulu warriors. Just hours after the Battle of Isandlwana, the Battle of Rourke's Drift took place. A small contingent of British soldiers were stationed at a mission station, and they successfully defended their position against a much larger Zulu force. The defense of Rourke's Drift became legendary, with 11 Victoria Crosses awarded to the defenders for their bravery. The contrasting outcomes of these two battles show the complicated nature of the Anglo-Zulu War. These eventually led to more struggles and conflicts which shaped the history of the region. Today, the battlefields of KwaZulu-Natal are preserved as historical sites. They attract visitors and historians interested in exploring the rich and tragic history of the area. Guided tours and interpretive centers provide context and insights into the events that took place. They honor the memory of those who fought and died on these fields. Number 11. The Timbavati White Lions The Timbavati region is located adjacent to the Kruger National Park. It is famous for its rare and majestic white lions. These lions are not albinos, but exhibit a genetic condition known as leucism, which results in their striking white coats. The white lions of Timbavati have held a special place in local folklore and are considered sacred by some indigenous tribes who believe they are messengers from the gods. The first documented sighting of a white lion in the wild occurred in the 1970s, and since then, these rare creatures have captured the interests of wildlife enthusiasts and conservationists worldwide. White lions are extremely rare, and their survival in the wild is threatened by habitat loss, poaching, and genetic challenges associated with their condition. Conservation efforts in the Timbavati region aim to protect these unique animals and ensure their continued existence in their natural habitat. The Timbavati White Lion Trust was established to support the conservation of white lions. It focuses on protecting their habitat, conducting scientific research, and promoting community involvement in conservation efforts. The Trust works to raise awareness about the importance of preserving these rare animals and the broader ecological significance of their habitat. Number 10. The Richtersveld Desert The Richtersveld Desert is in the northwestern part of South Africa today. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is known for its biodiversity and dramatic landscapes. This harsh, arid region is home to a variety of endemic plant species, including the iconic Halfman's trees. These unusual plants, which can grow up to 4 meters tall, are named for their human-like appearance and play a vital role in the desert ecosystem. The Richtersveld Desert is known for its extreme climate, with scorching temperatures during the day and freezing conditions at night. Despite these harsh conditions, the region supports a surprising diversity of life. The species here have adapted to survive in one of the most challenging environments on Earth. They can survive in the desert's extreme temperatures, scarce water, and poor soils. The Richtersveld is also culturally important, as it is home to the Nama people. 
They are one of the last remaining pastoralist communities in Southern Africa. The Nama have a deep connection to the land and have developed traditional knowledge and practices that allow them to live sustainably in this arid environment. Their way of life includes seasonal migration with their livestock, which shows their understanding of the desert's resources and seasonal cycles. Efforts to conserve the Richtersveld Desert focus on protecting its biodiversity and supporting the traditional livelihoods of the Nama people. The Richtersveld Community Conservancy was established to promote sustainable land use and conservation. It works to preserve the region's natural and cultural heritage. Number 9. The Barberton Makanjwa Mountains The Barberton Makanjwa Mountains are also known as the Barberton Greenstone Belt and are among the oldest mountain ranges in the world, dating back over 3.6 billion years. This region is located in Mpumalanga, South Africa, and it contains some of the Earth's oldest exposed rocks. These provide crucial evidence for studying the early history of our planet. The geological formations found here have revealed important information about the conditions and processes that shaped the Earth in its early days. The well-preserved rocks here include ancient volcanic and sedimentary rocks. These rocks have allowed researchers to find out about Earth's crustal development, the formation of continents, and the nature of early life. Fossilized microbial mats, known as stromatolites, have also been discovered in the Barberton rocks. They are the evidence of some of the earliest forms of life on Earth. The region also contains valuable mineral deposits, including gold, which has been mined since the late 19th century. The discovery of gold in the Barberton area sparked one of South Africa's earliest gold rushes. It contributed to the development of the country's mining industry and economic growth. The region has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, as there is a global need to protect its geological and biological history. Number 8. The Cape Floral Region Located in the southwestern part of South Africa, the Cape Floral Region is one of the most biodiverse areas in the world. This place has eight protected areas, and it is home to nearly 20% of Africa's plant species. Many of these plants are endemic and found nowhere else on Earth. The vegetation of the Cape Floral Region is known as Finbos, and it includes a wide variety of shrubs, flowers, and other plant species that have adapted to the region's Mediterranean climate. There are over 9,000 plant species that have been recorded in the region. Some of the most iconic plants in the Finbos are the Proteas, Ericas, and Restios. These have become symbols of South Africa's natural heritage. The Cape Floral region's rich biodiversity is not only of ecological importance, but performs a variety of tasks such as soil stabilization, water regulation, and carbon sequestration. The Cape Floral region faces numerous threats, including habitat loss due to urbanization, agriculture, and invasive species. The establishment of protected areas and the implementation of conservation programs aim to preserve the Cape Floral region for future generations. In addition to its ecological significance, the region holds cultural and economic importance for South Africa. It attracts tourists from around the world who are drawn by its stunning landscapes and diverse plant life, ecotourism, and sustainable harvesting of Finbos products, such as flowers and essential oils, provide economic opportunities for local communities while promoting conservation. Number 7. The Kango Caves The Kango Caves are located in the Swartberg Mountains near Oudshorn. They are one of South Africa's most spectacular natural wonders. These limestone caves were formed over millions of years. They feature an array of stunning stalactites, stalagmites, and other calcite formations. The caves extend for several kilometers with a series of chambers and passages that showcase the beauty of underground geology. Evidence of early human habitation, including tools and other artifacts, has been found within the cave. They were likely used for thousands of years as shelters and possibly for ritual purposes. The caves have also been a source of fascination for explorers and scientists who have studied their geological formations and the processes that created them. The guided tours to the Kango Caves include visits to the most impressive chambers, such as Van Zyl's Hall, which is over 90 meters long and 18 meters high, and the Rainbow Chamber, known for its colorful rock formations. The cave's unique acoustics have also made them a popular venue for musical performances, adding to their cultural appeal. Number 6. The Ubombo Caves Carved into the rugged terrain of South Africa's Labombo Mountains lie the Ubombo Caves. These sprawling caverns have a terrifyingly long history of rituals and sacrifices. While most of it is still shrouded in mystery and imbued with spirituality, 
The caves offer a closer look into the lives and beliefs of those who have been coming here for millennia. Archaeologists have determined that human presence in the Ubambo caves stretches back thousands of years. This is proven by the art on the walls. There are paintings of animals, hunting scenes, and some enigmatic symbols. These are also considered to be one of the first written languages in human history. However, the most interesting aspect of the cave is hidden in its role as a sacred space for ritualistic practices. Human remains and artifacts made out of carved bones hint at sacrifices to please the gods. There are also some places within the caves that are marked or have altered formations. These are thought to have held special significance in these rituals. Oral traditions passed down through generations speak of rituals conducted to seek guidance from the spirits, appease the ancestors, or ensure a bountiful harvest. While these shed some light on what went down in these caves, the finer details remain shrouded in mystery. Some people say that they were fertility rites, and offerings were made to ensure the continued prosperity of the community. Others think that it was ancestor worship, and the sacrifices were made to calm the spirits of the departed. Of course, some believe it had something to do with advanced ancient civilizations and extraterrestrial beings. Whatever may have been the case, the nature of these sacrifices remains a chilling reminder of the past. Oral traditions are rarely ever accurate, and some things may have been lost to time forever. Number 5. The Drakensberg Amphitheater Located in the northern part of the Drakensberg mountain range, the amphitheater is one of South Africa's most breathtaking natural landmarks. This cliff face stretches over 5 kilometers in length and rises up to 1,200 meters high, forming a natural amphitheater that offers stunning views of the surrounding landscape. The amphitheater is part of the Royal Natal National Park and is a popular destination for hikers, climbers, and nature enthusiasts. The Drakensberg Amphitheater is also the source of the Tugela Falls, which is one of the tallest waterfalls in the world. The Tugela River plunges over the edge of the amphitheater in a series of cascades, creating a beautiful display of water and mist. The falls are particularly impressive during the rainy season, when the river is at its fullest. The area surrounding the Drakensberg Amphitheater is rich with a variety of plant and animal species. The region is home to several endemic species, including the endangered Drakensberg rock jumper and the bearded vulture. Due to its ecological and cultural significance, the amphitheater has been declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number 4. The Ghosts of Kimberley The city of Kimberley is known for its diamond mines and rich history, but it is also famous for its ghostly legends and haunted sites. Kimberley's history is marked by the diamond rush of the late 19th century, which brought wealth, fortune seekers, and tragedy to the area. All that remains of this era are old buildings, mines, and cemeteries. These have now become the source of many ghost stories and paranormal encounters. One of the most famous haunted sites in Kimberley is the Kimberley Club. It was a historic gentleman's club founded by Cecil Rhodes and other prominent figures in the diamond industry. The club is said to be haunted by the ghost of Rhodes himself, as well as other former members who have been seen wandering the halls and rooms. Another haunted location is the Magersfontein Battlefield. This was the site of a huge battle during the Second Anglo-Boer War. Visitors and locals have reported hearing phantom gunfire, footsteps, and voices on the battlefield. It is believed that these voices belong to the spirits of soldiers who perished during the conflict. The ghostly legends of Kimberley add another layer to the city's already fascinating history. Ghost tours and paranormal investigations have become popular activities, attracting those curious about the supernatural and the stories that linger from the past. Number 3. The Agrabees Falls The Agrabees Falls is on the Orange River in the northern Cape Province, and it is one of South Africa's most spectacular natural wonders. It is known locally as Anquerabees, or place of great noise. The falls cascade down a 56-meter drop, creating a thunderous roar and a misty spray that can be seen from a distance. The falls are the central feature of the Agrabees Falls National Park, which includes a diverse landscape of rugged granite outcrops, riverine forests, and arid savanna. The power and beauty of the Agrabees Falls have long captivated visitors who come to witness the dramatic spectacle of water plunging into the gorge below. During the rainy season, when the Orange River is in full flow, the falls are especially impressive, with vast volumes of water crashing over the edge and creating a magnificent display. Apart from the falls, the Agrabees Falls National Park offers a variety of outdoor activities, 
and opportunities to explore the unique environment. The Clipspringer Trail leads visitors through the park's diverse terrain, providing beautiful views of the falls and the surrounding landscape. Wildlife enthusiasts can spot a range of animals, including giraffes, zebras, and the Clipspringer, which is a small antelope local to rocky habitats. The park also features several viewpoints and picnic areas. The Moon Rock is a massive granite dome, and it offers great views of the park. It is also a popular spot for watching the sunset. Number 2. The Leidenberg Heads Unearthed in the 19th century near Leidenberg, South Africa, is a collection of seven life-sized terracotta sculptures that have baffled archaeologists and ignited imaginations for over a century. Their unusual features, elongated faces and prominent cheekbones set them apart from any known African art style. The radiocarbon dating places the heads around 500 AD, which was a period with no documented use of terracotta figurines in the region. Archaeologists believe they could represent revered ancestors or spiritual figures. This explanation fits with the tradition in many African cultures of honoring their ancestors and depicting them in sculptures or artwork. However, the unusual features and lack of context have fueled more outlandish explanations. Extraterrestrial enthusiasts see the elongated features and lack of artistic history as evidence of contact with aliens. The discovery site itself offers the few clues. No accompanying artifacts or inscriptions have been found near the heads, leaving their meaning open to interpretation. Additionally, the lack of established terracotta figurine creation within the region during that time period raises questions about the creators and their cultural context. Number 1. The Lost City of the Kalahari Deep within the vast expanse of the Kalahari Desert lies the legend of the Lost City of the Kalahari. Explorer George Farini recounted in 1885 that he stumbled upon rude sculptured blocks and heaps of masonry. This fueled a century of speculation and exploration. However, Farini's descriptions were vague and they lacked any precise location of the place, so it made verification of his account difficult. Several expeditions have explored the desert in hopes of finding the lost city, but they came across nothing except for natural rock formations. However, the legend cannot be entirely dismissed. The Kalahari's harsh environment conceals some remnants of past settlements. Quenang was a 15th century trading hub, and it was found buried beneath vegetation. Even more interesting is the fact that the Kung people who have inhabited the Kalahari for millennia tell stories about a long lost civilization. Some people believe that the lost city of Kalahari was built by an advanced civilization. They apparently had knowledge that far exceeded ours. They say that these people could have been extraterrestrial too. Others speculate that it was a refuge for people escaping from Atlantis or a forgotten kingdom of unimaginable treasures. There is no certain answer even today. Maybe modern technology like satellite imagery and ground-penetrating radar can shed some light on the truth. The Kalahari Desert may still be hiding some secrets of an advanced ancient civilization. So, what do you guys think? Which of these was your favorite? What other secrets could be hiding in the caves of South Africa? What are they not telling us about the ritual sacrifices? Were the Leidenberg heads made by the local tribes? Or do they have the fingerprints of someone far more advanced? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more such interesting content. Until next time.